Some of the things about when you do win it, you have a you have a you kind of a, a, a road map of how to get back there and the things that you can compare. Zeke, talk about the the headache and the nerve wreckness, if that's even a word, of how how nerve wrecking it is of getting back in and in, in, in getting back in contention to uh, for another championship. Talk about the repeat level. I, I had the luxury of watching Magic Johnson and the Lakers. Mm go back to back mm. and, and also reading Pat Riley's book Showtime oh, wow. and he talked about the disease of more mm. after you win that first championship mm. coming back that second year everybody want more minutes they want more endorsements they want more of this more of that mm. right so after we won our first one I, I talked to everybody on our team about hey the disease of more we want to stay hungry. We want to stay thirsty. Mm. And then we had, a, we, we had something to prove. We were like, okay, in order to get to where Boston is at and L.A. is at, we got to stamp it again with another championship because Boston in that era was dominant, right. but they had mm -hmm. never won back-to-back -back championships. Right, right, right. The only one who had won back-to-back -back in our era was the, the Lakers. Lakers. Right. So in order for us to be there, we had to stay committed and everybody had to stay on the same page. And for the whole year, we did that. Let me ask you this. In all of that, did you know that y'all was forming of culture? Y'all came together. Y'all was a great Pistons team. Did you know in what y'all was doing, with, that y'all was creating culture? You know, obviously, bad boys, y'all had... When I sit back and I think about the history, y'all are coming together trying to win, but in, in this midst of trying to win and then winning, you're creating culture here. Absolutely. That's culture, it. so much that... Yeah. They come out and they look back and they exactly. start mirroring what the coach is. Yes. So I, can, I can understand that. It's great you brought up that because when we were on our quest, we used the bad boys Absolutely. as the example. example right. They set the example. They right. set that culture. Coach, right. So that was our whole thing. We, we watched and saw what they did and we just emulated it. You know, obviously the rules and stuff was a little bit yeah. different, right. but we still played that grit right. grind style. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We that all had each much. other's back that through right. everything. Man, that stood so out. So they set the stable, they set the tone oh. for us, and it made it a little not. I mean, of course, it's hard winning a championship, but right. they made it a little bit easier for us because they set the bar for the city of Detroit, the blue collar, hard working town mm -hmm. that is, and we just picked up where they left off. And KG, mm -hmm. when you when you went to Boston. I remember your press conference hmm. when you when you put on number five and you held up, and I remember you saying, "Wow, this is different." Right, it this, was. This, this this was different, and and talk about that Boston culture because that's what we really in Detroit was trying to you know imitate what the Celtics was all about. Everything when you looked at the Pistons. Everything that the Celtics did, and we like, tried to imitate. And you experienced it. You know, it's crazy that, that, that Tay said that about, you know, the bad boys being the shadows and kind of the roadmap of how to... We, we leaned on the big three of that being uh, Bird, Ro uh, Robert Parrish, and uh, Kevin McHale and followed that same, that same template. You know, uh, Doc had a saying of Mbutu, and it was parallel to what Celtic pride was. Give me yourself for the greater of the team so that, mm -hmm. you know, you help your partner, he helps you, and it's a balance, right? Same thing I hear in, 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 in Detroit basketball. It's the same culture, man. When I got there from the press conference, I chose five because it was going to take five of us to get to, to, to that. I really felt like that. Um, the 21 was a personal something that had to do with me. The five was about these guys that I'm about to go on this journey with. Right, right. And with that, man, I knew right then and there from their press conference on from, from the day I left Boston that that whole experience was different. That whole journey of those guys were different. Mm -hmm. Ted and I talked last year about um, his time and his journey with those guys that he was in Detroit. Only to circle back and be able to go back to Detroit without those guys. The yeah. journey is not the same. Yeah, yeah. It's about those moments and when you are there and that's your time. Um, I'm, 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 loving, I'm, I'm loving all this culture talk because you're starting to see go to state, create another culture. Yeah. You're starting to see Cleveland yeah. create another culture. Yeah. Quietly, obviously with all the Isaiah Thomas talks and the, and the tragedy, but you're starting to see Boston culture starting to come out yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And yeah. that's what's the dope part about yeah. all of this. You're starting to see little culture starting to be curated a little bit throughout all of these teams, and, and, and the playoff basketball is bringing it out. So speaking yeah. of that culture, right, in, in Boston, right, and, and, and Tay, you probably remember this because this was most one of the most powerful images I've ever seen you and Bill Russell 
mm. sitting sitting on the bench in Boston, you know, and him talking to you. And, and, and I'm telling you, Listen, that man. image blew like the whole league's mind. Even former players is like, damn, KG and Bill Russell having a conversation in the Boston Garden. And when you say anything is possible, right, it was like, wow, look right. at that. Right. Man, not, not just the Bill Russells, but the JoJo Whites. They all walking around. Show up that, that you know uh, the Havlicek showing up to practice. And you uh, get to talk to them. you get to talk to him. Uh, JoJo White uh, is 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 a, is a Celtic now. He 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 bleeds wow. green. When they wow. come up to you, yeah. they're talking. They're yeah. talking strategy, yeah. man. To sit there and be able to hear him as a student of the game, having the the the, the jewels of Bill Russell giving me those yeah. that lit. Telling me about anchoring defense, talking to me like a Jedi. That's what it felt like. That's what it looked like. Because we're speaking a certain language that yeah. everybody in this wouldn't even understand this that's conversation. That's what it looked like. And he was talking was. to you. Man, listen. Bill Russell was like, listen, bro. He was talking to. He, he don't talk to everybody. Man. He's sharing. Right. He was sharing. Yeah, lit. It was like not only talking to me, but sharing jewels that I that I took in. It was beautiful. Man, just listen. seeing it. Zeke, do you remember this? I know we're talking about culture. Do you remember this? We we're playing the Lakers. We we're getting ready to play the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Me, she, Rip, Chauncey, and Ben were in Jody's office. I remember that. Jody says, Isaiah, I want to talk to you guys. Get him on a conference call. And uh, Zeke gets on and says, you know, ask us how we doing, how we feeling. I mean, we good. We ready, you know, the whole this, nine this yards. Was, this was just before it even started. Right. Zeke says, Y'all going to win game one, and nobody even know it yet. Game one is already in the books. They don't even know it. Because we was predicted to get swept. Yeah, right. I remember this. We, playing like, we predicted to get swept. And this is with Gary Payton. This is with the Dream Team Lakers. Yeah. Zeke said, not only y'all going to win this series, but y'all going to start off, y'all going to win game one, and nobody know it yet. Remember that? I remember that. Because. Culture, man. Culture. about culture. And, and just being and there. Impact. And that impact. And impact. being there for. For the new, being there for right. the new group right. of guys, right. you've been in that position before. Is LeBron yes. building that culture in Cleveland? Do you see that same kind of, some of those uh, parallels and in, in, in credibility, the little small increments he's of what he's trying, trying to do? You see it? But they ain't, they, they, in my opinion, their, their ownership and their management is not on the same page mm. as he is. Right, he's, he's not as committed. He, well, they, they committed, but He's smarter than they are. You know, he's he's going to the University of Miami, of the Pat Riley School. Right. He went to the Harvard. So he sees Yale how he's building coaching. He's right? seeing how to build coach. Yeah, so he's gotcha. coming back yeah, and, he's, and he's mm. got to teach not only the players that he's with, right. but he's also got to teach the management. Right. He's got to teach the ownership. Right. He's got to, you know, he, he's got to teach. Right. And not only that, he's got to play. How right. much do they buy into that? How much does an owner who says, these are my dollars, you're my best player, how much is a, a, your, your owner listening to a LeBron to try to explain this culture? No one wants to hear that, especially when you're in charge of Ooh, it. all depends yeah. on how much, the, all depends on how much the owner wants to learn. I was fortunate enough, and we were fortunate enough in Detroit, we had Bill Davison, Man. who was interested in learning. Man. I, every summer, I vacationed with him. Shout to the family, right? Man. right? Vacationed with him every summer, talked about the things that I was learning from the mm -hmm. Lakers and the Celtics. And fortunate enough for me, right, Jerry West, Red Allback, they let me in their locker room. They mm -hmm. let me learn. They let me take notes. If you go back and you look at all those Celtics Laker games, you, did, right. you will see Isaiah Thomas at every one of their games. Remember that. And wow. in their locker room, after the celebration, I was wow. I remember when Boston I beat LA. I, I, I was you. sitting with Ray McGlory, <laughs> the trainer, while Bird and Mikhail was pouring <laughs> champagne, and I had my little notebook taking notes. I wow. saw that. You was at wow. all the finals, dressed up. Every I remember that. One. I remember that. I remember seeing that. Yeah, it's wow. culture, man. Because you know what, Zeke, I say a lot of things, dog. You don't even probably notice. You manifested all of that in, in fruition, made all that come. That's how bad you wanted that. You yeah. had to, listen, man, that, that's not yeah, giving that's in you, bro. Yeah. Man, we talk about this culture, all but it starts from in all of us, right? Yeah, and that's sure. what we all recognize, man. Man. Cool. Man.